With each hour that passes, hundreds more metres of Hawaii's lush landscape disappear beneath a river of molten rock. Since Friday, the flow has changed dramatically, with faster, more fluid lava oozing from openings and running freely. The noise from steam-driven explosions gives you some idea of the force with which volcanic material is being thrown into the air, and often very close to people's houses. The first serious injury has now been reported, with a man hit on the shin by flying lava as he sat on his balcony, shattering his leg. In one small community, people had to be airlifted to safety as some roads are destroyed. And with already nearly 2,000 people evacuated, geologists fear that many more could soon need rescuing. My biggest worry is, is people being trapped, honestly. Um, it is a very dynamic situation. The, the Fisher 20 flow that started yesterday at the start of my watch, we were not expecting. Uh, to me, that, that is a very scary scenario, and that's what concerns me most, is that people might be trapped by something like that. Lava has now reached the ocean, posing a new airborne danger called lays, when molten rock mixes with salt water, releasing hydrochloric acid and steam carrying fine particles of glass. Officials on Big Island, where Mount Kilauea is, say tourists are staying away, forcing businesses to close or lay off staff. Livelihoods are counting on the lava flow stopping, but volcanologists say they have no way of predicting when that will be. Olivia Kinsley, ITV News.